Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article that I wrote several days ago. This is a two-part article, and I'm going to include both parts of one and part two in this video presentation to help with the continuity and flow of the article. If you're not aware of who I am, I am a traumatic brain injury survivor living with an invisible disability. My brain injury happened in a motor vehicle accident in 1967 when I was 10 years old. I was in a coma for three weeks. I had to teach myself how to walk, talk, read, write, and speak in complete sentences. I was not supposed to get beyond high school academically and went on to get my undergraduate degree in 10 years and my master's degree in four and a half years with two different graduate schools. I had a long history of getting and losing jobs. Subsequently I felt like someone all dressed up with no nowhere to go. On February 6, 2007 at the encouragement of a friend I created Second Chance to Live to share my experience, strength, and hope with individuals who, like myself, have lived with adversity. My encouragement to you as you listen to this article being read is that you send questions that come to mind to me or you leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. To read the article, I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. Thank you again for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. And here's the article. Living with a Brain Injury and Achieving Goals, My Friend, Part 1. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live. I'm happy to see that you are here, my friend. As you know, I am a traumatic brain injury survivor. If you are not f familiar with who I am as a traumatic brain injury survivor who is living with an invisible disability, I would invite you to visit my About page, my friend. To visit my About page, click on this link. And I have a link to my about page here in the article on Second Chance to Live at secondchancetolive.org. But before you do, please read this article. Thank you. One of, one of the limitations that my traumatic brain injury affects is my inability to remember and follow sequences of information. If I do not write things down and study them, I have a difficult time following those sequences. In practice, implementing those sequences consequently takes me a very long time. In my experience, I have found that I have to do things over and over again and do them some more before I can learn the sequence. In my experience, I have found this to be true when I want to learn something new. I have found that I need to drill sequences and skills a bazillion times uh, to become proficient in those skills. In my experience, I've had to drill one skill at a time to become proficient in that skill. In my experience, I've found that I that when I work on one skill or at one skill at a time, I'm able to combine that skill or objective with other skills or objectives to achieve goals in my life. And now for part two. Excuse me. Shortly after I started training at a martial arts academy, I had a conversation with my sensei, our instructor. What, what he shared with me has stuck with me since that time almost 11 years ago. He said, what I give you, what I do is give you the ingredients to bake a cake. Your job is to bake that cake. With time, I gathered different ingredients, skills, and abilities that helped me to grow and develop as a martial artist and in the process bake my cake. In my experience I found this principle acquiring different ingredients to combine to bake a cake has helped me to not only grow as a martial artist but also as an individual. By acquiring and working on one skill or ingredient at a time I have been able to combine multiple ingredients or skills together. In the process of combining multiple ingredients over time, I have been able to achieve various goals once thought to be unobtainable. 
By combining various goals that I have learned over time, I've been able to achieve various goals apart from judging my efforts that I never dreamed that I could do during my lifetime. My encouragement to you, my friend, is to work on achieving goals one ingredient or skill at a time. When you have learned one skill, start working on another related skill. Once you have learned that skill, start on another related skill and be encouraged. With each skill, you will d discover how they interconnect and how to use them in tandem with one another. In the process, you will mix your ingredients, bake your cake, and achieve your goal. By focusing on one ingredient or skill at a time, you will be able to achieve goals apart from judging your efforts that you never dreamed that you could during your lifetime. This and um, several years ago, excuse me, several years ago I wrote an article and I would encourage you to read uh, that article my friend. To do so please click on the following link and the link will open to the article. The article's title is Living with a Brain Injury and the Fable of the Tortoise and the Hare. I will include a link to the uh, that particular article, Living with a Brain Injury and the Fable of the tor Tortoise and the Hare, in the description portion of this YouTube video presentation. I want to thank you for your time and for watching this video presentation. Let me encourage you, my friend, do not give up on your process, the loving God of yourself, because more will be revealed in time and with time. That has been my experience. As you work on developing one skill at a time, you can celebrate the progress that you're making in developing and becoming proficient in that skill. Consequently, you don't have to judge your efforts, but instead you can celebrate your process. By connecting one skill with another skill, you become more proficient and you gain confidence. That has been my experience. Collectively, I can use one skill after another skill after another skill and in the process create a link of skills that can combine, create wonderful outcomes with God's help. So I encourage you, my friend, as I need to trust your will in your life over to the care of a loving God because he's got your best interests in mind. That's my experience. I found that God does for me what I can't do for myself as I turn my will and my life over to his care. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and God bless both you and your family. Thank you for your time. So long now.